previously on the Youth Edition. And there is the whistle, a 3-0 drumming from Swindon Town. Well, another tough encounter, but we get three points and it's very important for our season. There it is, it's another fucking loss and all well, this season goes up and down like a fucking yo-yo. Strag out! <laughs> Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of the Youth Edition. It's Oldham Athletic, it's Dylan Allen on a quest for Champions League glory. It's time to sit back, relax and get in that comfy chair, put it on the big screen TV, crack your favourite beverage, because here we go with the Youth Edition. Hello and welcome back to the Youth Edition Career Mode here with Oldham Athletic. Could possibly be the season finale here. We sit in third position on 68 points, two points behind Lincoln, two games remaining in the season. But this is a strong competitive league at the moment. I mean, we've come from nowhere. It's a pretty much a Cinderella story here for Oldham if we can manage to push up to League One. But uh, there are six points remaining in the season. So that could see us on uh, 74 points, could go top of the table. Who knows what's going to happen there. But uh, if we don't pick up any points, uh, what, six points will take Crawley Town to 70, so they'd be going above us. Uh, six points for Exeter City on 69 points, so they would be going above us. So we could fall uh, probably as low as 12th, possibly. Who knows what's going to happen? We need to get through these two games. We need to uh, hopefully push through for League One. That's what I'm favourable for. But before we do that, we've got a player upgrade. Right, so first thing I want to cover here with player upgrades is can you please keep the comments to just the upgrades. Uh, this is a, a marvellous, marvellous comment here from uh, Andrew German. I do thank you very much for any comment that does get left down below. 64 thumbs up on this one. But you have gone with a player upgrade and a backstory all in one thing and, and it's just, it's too much. I would have preferred if you'd split it into one media watch in that segment so I can sort of concentrate and see what's going on here. But we'll roll with this one uh, for this time one and only. Number 23, untucked, normal long sleeve, no gloves. Uh, his favourite player is Michael Jordan. That's why he wanted red and black boots. They're actually Jordan boots that I've found there for you because he is a Chicago Bulls fan. He grew up in Chicago, was adopted by his granddad, and uh, his parents were arrested, and he was exposed to sports early to escape dangerous neighborhoods nearby. To protect him from his bullies, his granddad, an ex-winger for the Chicago Fire, trained him in some boxing, uh, but one day when he was 14, he shattered his right wrist and could no longer continue boxing anymore, and that is why he wanted uh, some tape on the right. Now, you can't see it, there was a long sleeve, so we'll go with the boxing tape. Um, when his granddad passed away a year later, Olsen decided to pursue soccer full-time in honor of his grandfather. Oldham Athletic Scouts were notified of the aggressive fullback and decided to give the kid a chance. We'll see what he can grow into. He's got them Jordan boots and the Jordan number. Will he be a star of the future? He is done. I'm not sure we'll have a player upgrade at the end of this one. I might save it um, for the start of the next series. Obviously, I have explained I am moving to the, uh, the girlfriend's house for about six weeks. I'm only coming home to record. I need to smash through these as quickly as I can, unfortunately. Hopefully, it doesn't affect the series too much. Hopefully, you still support the channel through this time. And um, I'm going to hope, fingers crossed, four episodes a week still, uh, maybe with a couple with reduced games. We'll see how we go. But uh, I'd rather save some of the numbers and that for, for, you know, there's gonna be regens and shit coming in in the next season. So there's no point in upgrading some of the, the fodder that's there that will just float away into the distance for now. Let's get into this episode, see if we can push through and find some League One football for season number two. Second last game of the season, we're going to St. James Park to take on Exeter City. I'm going to make no changes to this starting lineup, even though we're not at full stamina. We want the best players out there we can possibly put on the pitch, and I've got a feeling that this is our team at the moment. Griffiths and Millet can swap here and there, but Griffiths has been showing some really good signs there in the camera. We need to find Guerin a few more goals for the season. Let's get into it. Our away forward has been pretty decent. Hopefully, we can secure three points and uh, hopefully an automatic promotion to League One. Let's go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Two games left in the season. All importantly, to take some points here against Exeter on the road. Uh, they've got an opportunity to push into playoff contention at least if they can get a victory here against us. So they're going to be coming all guns blazing. We're going to have to sit back, hold on, and see if we can uh, take three points off them on the road. We are third. They are just below 10. But they can sneak their way up with a victory here. And goal difference of negative one is ridiculous. I mean, we've conceded a lot in the games that we have gone down in. And the games that we have won, well, we've got some decent amount of clean sheets. Let's see what we can do here today against Exeter. 
Exeter have got a corner here, six minutes gone. Working through our defences. Here they come again. Everyone just getting an opportunity off the sidebar. White gets the touch and somehow gets that ball out of the box. Here is Harris out to Bernard. He's got an acre of space to run in. He runs like the little gazelle that he is. Still goes Bernard. He'll have to cut back inside here. He'll try a cross and here's the header. And it's put wide by Cameron Griffiths. Oh, bloody hell, Harris. Everyone is just lacking the composure here at the moment. They just need to settle in, grit it out, defend. Get the job done here, boys. Oh, my days. Does someone want to play for the fucking shirt today? You're all stagnant and just worried. Get through the bloody game, boys. Harris. Lee, lovely vision. Bernard into the box. Cuts back inside. Oh, great defensive work. Oh, what? Go down as a poor cross, really. That's Bernard. Pushes forward. Half time is looming. Cameron Griffiths drives his way forward. Lays it back here for Harris. He'll play it off now for Lee. Out wide. Bernard slips one through. No, he doesn't. It's picked off. And we just can't find an avenue home here at the moment as Oldham. The halftime whistle is looming. It's tied up at nil all, but no one can seem to break this deadlock open. Looks like we might have to wait on the second half as Owen Griffiths gives it away. Nil all! Can we find something here, boys? Dylan Allen, rev these fuckers up. Good from White. Lee plays forward. Here's Millet. Just lays it off. Harris, out wide. Lovely vision. Out to Cameron Griffiths. Drives his way forward here, Cameron. He'll pull the trigger and the defence gets in the way. Bernard did well. Where it? Oh, fuck off, Brown! Who is this fuckstick? He's got Guerin in his pocket today. Down the line. Come on, boys. Give us a result here. Oh, that's a fucking fair challenge! For oh, fuck's sake. If they score here, I will be fucking livid. Oh, there's some fucking cunt of a dog next door that won't shut up. Fucking shut up! Oh, fuck's sake, it's a nil all draw. Could be an all important point though. Oh, 11 shots to 6, pretty even possession. We take a point here. Bernard with a 7.8. 7-4 uh, for Cameron Griffiths, 5-8 for Miranda, 6-6 six, six for Guerin. He did fucking nothing. Look at that. Rubbish. 7-5 for Millet, 7-3 for Elfie Lee with four intercepts, 7-3 for Nick Harris, 7-2. Five saves there for Cooper. Great day for him. 7-2 for Barros. White there. Seven defensive display efforts. Brilliant from him. Uh, Owen Griffiths missed six tackles. Well done. Um, and the rest of the lads did pretty much nothing. But vote up in the eye for your player of the match. The Majestico will be live on Twitch on Monday evening. Make sure you go and check out that channel. Follow, notifications, all that good shit. And we will see you there for the live count on Monday night, Perth time. All right, time for a training session. Cooper to 66, Edwards to 59. Well, energy is the key to success, says Alan. Uh, he's highlighted his players' energy and enthusiasm as key factors as we prepare for the final game of the season here against Northampton. That's what we're all about, energy and enthusiasm. A highly motivated bunch but right now, apparently. He couldn't be happier. Let's check in with Tom LaFerber and the Media Watch, uh, the final segment for the season here by the looks of things. Um, we've got one game to go. And we will show you the ladder before we hit that game so you can see how tight things are at the top of the table. But let's check in with Tom LaFerva. Media Watch with Tom LaFerva. Today in the Media Watch, we've got a message in here from El Taf Pile, and uh, apparently the recent performances of Cooper has improved very much, and it is due to him being motivated by the possibility of Oldham Athletic gaining promotion to League One. He has gone to an Alcoholics Anonymous group every week and is finally beating his long battle with alcoholism. The youngster is said to have been joined by a different teammate every week in an effort to motivate him to keep going. 
Since he has even been beating his battle with alcoholism, his fitness has improved and he has now been saving a lot of money and is staying in a fancy apartment. Even better news is that he's being spotted by many companies who want him to be the face of their company and this could expand not only his fan base but also the Oldham Athletic fan base which could lead to sold out home games, more support and also help the club climb the ranks. Well, let's hope we can bring some more money in here to Oldham Athletic. Well, we have made League One. Uh, I'm not sure at the time of this story going live, but uh, we can only hope that it's onwards and upwards for Oldham Athletic, and that is all we have time for today in the Media Watch. We'll see you again next season. So we take a look at the table going into the final game of the season. Lincoln on 71 points. 69 points for Yeovil, Mansfield, Bury and Oldham. Uh, MK Dons on 68, Crawley Town on 67. If we lose, we might not even uh, make the playoffs here. If Swindon Town win, they'll knock us out because our goal difference is uh, atrocious. Absolutely atrocious. Um, a win, though, will put us to 72 points. Who knows what's going to happen? Where's Northampton sitting? They're down in 16th place. We've got them on our home deck. It hasn't been favourable for us. Um, we would like automatic promotion, but it's looking like a tough, tough ask. Yeovil will be playing Carlisle, who are in 14th. Uh, Mansfield will be playing MK Don. So they're fighting it out there. So that is a tough encounter. And Berry, who are they playing? Let's have a look here. Can we find Berry on the table? Where are you? Where are you, Berry? We'll scroll up on the right. They are playing Port Vale. Um, who, did I miss them? 13. Okay, so some tough games. We'll keep an eye on the situation that coming up to half time. But all we can do is try and win our match. We're taking on Northampton. Uh, let's go and have a look at the team selected for this one. Right, we've got our scout reports back before we get into this game. We are in Belgium, of course. We're going to look at uh, Lemon 66 to 90, Wouters 64 to 86, and Peters 59 to 83. We'll monitor them further. We are in Germany. We've got Tim Schulter 63 to 87, Sebastian Vogel 66 to 90, and Emil Schaffer 59 to 81. We will monitor further. Don't forget, we'll get more scout reports back in this episode. We'll do a, uh, a full season wrap up and everything, provided we get through this next game and get automatic promotion. And we are in Scotland, of course. We've got Barry Murray, 58 to 82. Ewan Graham, 60 to 82. And Alistair Hamilton, 58 to 80. We'll monitor these lads further as well. Well, quick look at the Academy. Murphy, 81 to 87. Frank Burns, 76 to 84. Has dropped away. Tavares, 66 to 84. That is terrible. And you know what? We're going to say, see you later. We need to save the cash. Dong Sung Han, 81 to 87. London, 73 to 85. He's dropped off as well. And uh, holding just for now, but Martinson can piss off. Uh, Morgan Edwards, the Australian. No, you're not got enough for me this season. Uh, Bowdry still not available. He's had a full season in the academy. Uh, Fredrickson, 70 to 90. And Bratianu. 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 71 to 91. And he's only 15. So here we go, the final game of the season. And I've made a couple of little changes here. Edwards is going to start on the left-hand side. Bernard is going to start on the right-hand side. And Griffiths in the central attacking midfield. We need some goals here today. We need to lift this curse on Boundary Park. Three points is pretty much needed if we want automatic promotion. And we need to hope that some of the other results go in our favour. I have put the goal news on. Hopefully we get to see that as well. Let's jump into this and see if we can get automatic promotion to League One. Come on, boys. All right, here we go. Game 46 of the season, the final game of the season, and a chance for automatic promotion if things do go our way. Oldham Athletic here at Boundary Park, and, uh, well, home fans look like they are really hoping for uh, a victory here. We need some goals. We're quite on the road there against Exeter. Um, we just need to find something. Quirin has gone very, very quiet. We currently sit in fifth, a goal difference of negative one, and that is definitely not helping our cause. We need the points, we need some goals, and we need to get firing here today. Come on, boys, I've got faith. We want to get automatic promotion and not have to deal with some playoffs as well. Lovely ball up the line from Barros. Here is Edwards. Cuts back inside, still comes Edwards. Lay it off, Quirin! games but he finds himself in the right place at the right time there. Edwards just diving down the wing. 
a long little pass inside. Guerin with a first time finish. 1-0 Oldham. Game on. Finds Bernard. Plays it forward. Guerin. Oh, it's a lovely ball through. Cameron Griffiths. Oh! Ah, crossbar. Oh, Harris comes through. There's Guerin on the ball. Driving his way forward. Oh, yes! Get in there! Guerin's showing up at the right time. 30 minutes gone. He's got himself two goals. Fuck! Come on. That is a lovely run from Guerin. And a man all over him like a cheap suit. And he still manages to fire it past his keeper. And make it 2-0 to Oldham Athletic. Well, we're doing everything we can here. Will it be enough? Lee plays forward. We've got him on toast here. There's another one forward. Guerin in the box. Shoots. Oh, just wide on this opportunity. Oh, lovely. Harris tries to get it through to Guerin. We have been on point here today. Northampton have failed to register a shot. And we are shooting for fun. There's the whistle. Guerin ripping it open. 2-0 at half time. All right, Port Vale are beating Bury 2-0. Crawley Town are up. Where's Lincoln? Nil all in their game. NK Dons are down to Mansfield 1-0. And Yeovil are in a draw at the moment. <sighs> Come on, boys. Oh, I've got the ball through here. Oh, crossbar. And Barros clears. Guerin gets the touch. Edwards flicks forward. Wants Harris picked off. Northampton going to put some pressure on now. There's Foley. Cameron Griffiths. Bernard makes the run. Here goes Bernard. Here comes the cross. Here comes Guerin! Get in there! 3-0! And it's a Guerin hat-trick! Lovely finish! Hitting him on the counter. Hitting where it hurts, right in the nutsack. 3-0! And the little Frenchman has got himself a hat-trick here. Brilliant ball in from Bernard. The French combine. And viva la resistance! Get in! Oh, that is brilliant. Bang! Suck on that, sunshine. 3 0. Oh, Cartier's giving it up. Uh oh. There comes Barros. Oh, just worried him out of it. And they come again, though. Play through. Oh, off the sidebar, blocked by Cartier. Guerin does well. Cameron Griffiths lays it off. There's Bernard. Holds up the play nicely. Pulls the trigger. Oh, this keeper's got nothing. Check his gloves for butter. It's 4 0. Bernard finds a goal. He's ninth of this season. Been a while between drinks for him. But that is a lovely turn and burn from the Frenchman. Everyone getting involved. There'll be uh, croissants and champagne flying around after this performance. That is for sure. A nice vino. Maybe uh, a good bit of cheese. I'm not too sure. And uh, that is another lovely finish. This keeper is pretty shite. Guerin, oh, can't break through. It's an absolute pressure cooker here for Northampton at the moment. Oldham look like they want blood. Cameron Griffiths can't get the good touch on it. It's 77th minute. It's 4-0 to Oldham. And Northampton have no answer for everything that has been thrown at them. Oh, they get one in the 88th minute. They get it back to a three goal difference. And uh, that was actually a really lovely finish. We're just trying to get the ball out. But they've uh, smashed forward Northampton. And they find themselves a goal here. They just tried to go long. Bernard didn't get up. A man completely unmarked. A quick touch inside. And Luck couldn't cover the ground quick enough. It's 4 1. And there is the whistle. Is it automatic promotion for Oldham? The boys seem pretty happy. Guerin will take the match ball. Well, 10 shots to 6, and we've put in 4. Only 4 shots on target. Uh, Performance-wise, well, Guerin there with a hat-trick and a perfect 10. Nice to see him showing up. Cooper with 3 saves, a 7-1. 8.1 for Barros with 5 intercepts. 7-8 for White. 7-5 for Cartier. 7-7 for Owen Griffiths. 8-5 for Nick Harris with the assist. 8-3 for Alfie Lee. 8-4 for Edwards and an assist. 8-4 for Cameron Griffiths and an assist. 9-4 for Bernard, an assist and a goal. Uh, but a perfect 10 there for Guerin, the final game of the season. Maybe get voting up in the eye for your player of the match. Well, time for a cheeky training session.
And it looks like it's another training session. Lee up to a 65. Edwards hits 60. We'll check him on uh, at the end of the season in the full squad report. More training. I'll let you know where we're finishing the season a little bit later uh, just to keep that suspense going. But we've added Roberts and Olsen to the simulations of training. Cooper now up to a 67. Right, Dong Sung Han wants out of the Youth Academy. And you know what? I think that's fair enough. 57 overall, 81 to 87 potential, a 200 grand evaluation. We've put some time into him in our academy. Uh, so let's welcome him to the first team in Dong Sung Han. All right, we'll swap Cooper for Cooper. Uh, the right back, we'll get simulating. Let's try and push them all to 60 here. And obviously work on Lee's stamina. Right, we are here in Belgium, and uh, this will be the final report here. We will have Belgium again at the start of the next season before we uh, you know, go looking again. Uh, Lemons is still all right, and Wooders and Peters. We've picked up here Tom Martin, 45 to 63, 69 to 94. Uh, I like the look of this lad, uh, so we'll bring him into the academy. And also Hugo, is it Clays? 68 to 94, we'll monitor further. We are, of course, in Germany. A couple of lads I'm keeping an eye on here. Uh, Sebastian Vogel, I think his potential might have gone up there, actually. Uh, but I will monitor him for another month, Schaffer. But the man we will be signing in is Moritz Klein. 49-67, to 67, 72 to 94, possibly a centre-back. Uh, let's get him into our academy. And we are, of course, here in Scotland. And these boys haven't grown at all. We've got Reese McCall, but nothing really so far from Scotland. So it is June. Uh, obviously, we would want to bring in most of the lads if they are ready to be called up. Um, you know, we don't want to fill the squad too much. There will be regens and stuff to float around at the start of next season. So we're not going to overcommit this squad, um, you know, as I have done in previous years. We want real quality coming through. Uh, Lance Murphy, 81 to 87. He's coming along nicely. We'll let him marinate a bit further. Frank Burns, uh, you know what? I don't think he's going to make the cut. He's got the height, but he doesn't have what I'm looking for. So we'll say see you later. Uh, London has dropped right off. He can go. Uh, Tom Martin, who we've just signed up. 59 overall. 69 to 94. 300 grand potential. Um, looks pretty decent as a winger. And um, could definitely help us out. He's got the acceleration and sprint speed already. 17 years of age. Uh, we will offer him a first team contract. Patrice Boudry still not ready to be promoted. William Fredrickson has dropped away. 18 as well. See you later. Uh, Bratiano, 75 to 93, still has that potential going. And Moritz Klein is a centre back. 62 overall, 6 foot 2, 72 to 94, 525 evaluation. Welcome to our team, Moritz Klein. Another training session, eh? And Olsen getting close to 60. And yet another training session. Roberts up to 60, Olsen up to 60, Cooper to 55, Miller to 58. That's what we wanted, boys. All right, change things up a little bit. New lad Martin into uh, the training sessions to see if we can get him up. Guerin now up to a 61. And the final training session, I think, for the season here. So uh, you probably can understand um, what's happening. All right, let's get into some of the statistics for this season. Um, we still don't know where we finished, but this will probably give us a better indication. Obviously, we didn't have to play any playoff games, uh, so we have got automatic promotion. But where have we finished on the table? We'll find out shortly. Let's jump into statistics, though. Top goal scorer is Agard for MK Dons. He's picked up 23 goals from 46 matches. Nice to see the matches in there now uh, in FIFA 19. Our top goal scorer was Guerin. He's finished in ninth, 15 goals from 41 appearances. I don't think we'll have anyone else in there. We weren't very prolific in our goal scoring this season. Assist-wise, Griffiths is in there with uh, seven assists. Not a bad return from him uh, on the right-hand side. Probably got a few more when he moved into the camp position. And Bernard is in there with six. Uh, Cooper, amazingly enough, 19 clean sheets takes the golden glove. Uh, we did get belted in a lot of games, but then there was a lot of games that we got those 1-0 victories. And that is where Cooper really stood up. Played all 46 matches um, and got us the 19 clean sheets. And that is probably why we have done so well. Um, obviously, he was the only keeper that we used in the league. Cards, no one cares about. Okay, so here is where you guys get to get involved moving into season number two. We're going to have a really in-depth look in the squad right now um, and, and kind of make, you know, our squad is fairly limited. I mean, 36 players, still we've got a lot of real players. They will be moving on hopefully in the next transfer window or their contracts are running out. But let's have a look at what we've got at the moment. Let me know your thoughts on any, even of these youth players that you think need to be loaned out or, you know, just cut our losses and try and sell them off. 
Uh, so Cooper has risen 15 rating this season, obviously got a lot of training. We needed a goalkeeper and he's come through with a golden glove, showing great potential. Uh, 50 total appearances across all competitions with 20 clean sheets. Uh, attribute wise, uh, where is he growing? A little bit in physicals. His reaction's there up to 54, which is definitely helping him out a little bit. Uh, would like his sprint speed just to, uh, you know, get up there a little bit to get him out on the ball. But diving at 73 now, uh, positioning went up 23. So it's still a lot of work here to do with Cooper. We may find another goalkeeper, but I mean, can you really deny the golden glove? He started off like a drunken sailor, but he's come good in the second half of the season. Um, and he's got two years on his contract. His value is 1.1 million, still only 16 years of age. We've also got Jay Lewis. Um, he's gone up five to a 50. Didn't really get too much time from us, just the two games. Um, one okay performance and the rest was pretty average. Um, only worth 45 grand. He's got two years on his contract. Uh, what's his re reactions have gone up six to 44. I mean, with a bit of training, he's got the flat kick trait, whatever that bloody means. Um, I don't know, is he, a, is he a worthy holding on to keep as a backup or do we go and look for maybe another high potential goalkeeper from our academy coming through next season? Maybe we go and look for a regen. Buffon, has he retired? We won't know. All right, Barros, our scout future star potential to be special, of course. 63 gone up six. Really, we only train him on free kicks. 52 appearances for five goals, one assist. Uh, 21 clean sheets there. Uh, let's have a look here. He's gone up in acceleration, which is good. Reactions of 71, which is outstanding. Uh, in previous years, you haven't really seen those reactions grow that much. Uh, would like his composure to increase. Hopefully that will come as he grows. He has turned 18 now. He's good at crossing, good curve, good free kicks, long passing, short passing. So his passing game is good. We could probably uh, give him another couple of seasons of just letting him, him marinate. Uh, and if he doesn't get up those defensive skills that we need, then we would start training. And that's how I uh, prefer to use my um, potential to be special players. Don't really train them all too much. Next, we have Brett Cooper. Um, he's a 55, he's gone up five. We just started putting a little bit of training into, relatively new to the squad. 10 appearances and a goal for him. Um, let's have a look through here. Stamina has increased. His physicals haven't really gone up too much, but his technical attributes are growing. And uh, obviously two years on his contract. Hammer is leaving when the transfer window opens. That is good. Noah White, 61 up six, showing great potential. 20 appearances and uh, really solidified our back line there. Uh, coming into this team with a five-star weak foot. Uh, his jumping and strength has increased. We've trained his defensive capabilities a little bit there. His interceptions are up to 56. And uh, marking as well is uh, growing quite nicely. He's got three years on his contract. The new lad here in Moritz Klein. 62 overall, an exciting prospect. Can play central defensive midfield as well. Uh, obviously a new acquisition. Four-star skill moves, five-star weak foot at centre-back. High defensive work rate. Uh, this guy could be a real beast for us next season. 81 strength, 82 aggression already. And uh, technically, well, we probably just need to work on his defensive stats a little bit. But we'll see how they start growing moving into the next season. He's just signed a contract with us. Uh, Norris's contract is expiring. We're going to let that run out. Now, Tom Embleton is uh, one of the regens we brought in at the start of the season to help us out with squad depth. Um, I don't think he's going to have a potential. He's only gone up plus two. Helped us out in a pickle at the start of the season. Uh, he did have a solid player trait, but I think that might have been removed from the game. Um, we'll have to wait and see what happens there. Let me know your thoughts on Tom Embleton. Uh, maybe we should put him on the transfer list. It might be, you know, thanks for your services for season one, but might be time to move on. James Boyd, the New Zealander, another regen we signed at the start of the season, 57. He's gone up four, 24 appearances, but a lot of that was early on while we were just finding our way uh, in this career mode. And I don't know what kind of future he's got here. Long passer, CPU, AI only skill. Uh, so that's not going to help him out anymore uh, unless he's playing for a different team. So let me know your thoughts on James Boyd. Is it his time up here at the club? Uh, Nikolai Sonev, well, um, yeah, 56 up three. To be fair, as a regen um, from Bulgaria, he has just come in and done a job anytime we've asked it for him. I would like to keep him around for another season. He's got another year remaining on his contracts, and we might let that roll out. Let me know your thoughts on that. Now, Cartier, 61 up six. He doesn't have a potential. 
Um, played a lot of games for us. Was pretty solid. Um, but we'll see how he progresses. He might make his way to the bench and we'll let uh, the big German come in in place of him. He's got two years on his contract still. Uh, Sam Graham is on loan, so I'm assuming that will be finishing up. Andy Taylor, well, we'll try and load him off in the next window. And Sheridan as well. Evan Olsen is a 60. He's up three. He does not have a potential. So uh, that is a little bit concerning. Maybe he needs a loan spell. And if we get lucky, he might get a potential. Um, I'm not going to loan glitch any player. If they come back with a, with a potential increase, then that is a bonus. Uh, so let me know your thoughts with Evan Olsen now that uh, we know he doesn't have a potential. Does he need to go on the loan list if we can get another couple of left backs into the club? Owen Griffiths, 62 up 15. It took an absolute shitload of training uh, because we signed him so early. He doesn't have a potential either. Uh, 41 appearances, two goals and an assist. Um, he's our starting left back at the moment, to be fair. Uh, so let me know your thoughts. I mean, we've put in a lot of defensive training, a lot of work into this lad. Does he need a loan spell to try and possibly get him a potential? Or uh, do we have to go and find some left backs and get them into this team? Um, although he's been fairly serviceable. Liam Roberts is a 60 up 10. He doesn't have a potential either. 47 appearances. Um, filled in quite nicely at centre back. Then there's a backup CDM. So let me know your thoughts with Liam Roberts. He's got two years remaining on his contract. Oliver Miller is still only 58. He's gone up six this season. 47 appearances, five goals, two assists. Uh, how's he going growth wise? Pretty much only with training. Attack position up 23. Uh, short passing, shot power, and finishing up as well. Um, but yeah, we'll have to wait and see if he does have a potential. Let me know your thoughts. Does he need a loan spell? Dong Sung Han, we've just brought in. And he's already gone up one to a 58. Doesn't have a potential as of yet. We won't know until he hits 65 star skill moves, three star weak foot. A low attacking work rate, not really something we want out on the wings. Uh, his stamina has increased by one. He's got some okay technical attributes. Still only 16 years of age. So uh, we'll have him for at least next season, you feel, and we'll see how he develops. Cameron Griffith, 62, up five, showing great potential from England. 39 appearances, two assists, uh, two goals, should I say, and seven assists. Um, really got going in that cam role, to be fair, but he's pretty decent out on the right-hand side as well. Uh, let me know your thoughts on your preferred position there for Cameron Griffiths. Sam Thomas, 54, up three, not really growing too much. 37 appearances, two goals, two assists. Uh, medium low work rates. Coming along, we'll see how we go. What do you think we should do with Sam Thomas? Uh, Nick Harris is showing great potential, 62, up nine. 48 appearances, three goals, five assists. Pretty much playing center midfield for us at the moment. Uh, but we'll have to see how that develops. We have been working on his passing just to uh, fill in that role in the midfield. Two years remaining on his contract. Uh, he'll be leaving us. Uh, Alfie Lee, an exciting prospect. 65 up 5. Not a lot of training, just on that bronze stamina. 37 appearances for 5 goals, 4 assists. Um, obviously, the 5-star weak foot, 4-star skill moves helps him out. A bit more defensive as a centre midfielder, but he has been getting forward. Uh, interestingly enough, the long shots that he has put in. Only 67 long shots and 57 finishing, but uh, my God, can he smack one in and... Uh, yeah, you could see him definitely building around our midfield. Miss Lou will try and get out of here along with Koke. Edwards, an exciting prospect. Okay, 60 up, 6 left. Uh, 22 appearances, 3 assists for him. Can't find himself a goal. He's got the 5-star skill moves and the high, high work rates that we do like. Physicals are growing slowly. Attack position, we've put some training in and along with his passing there. We've got him to 60. And um, I think he'll be around at least for another season or two. We'll see how he develops. Miranda, well, is it time for the Bolivian to go? He started the season so promisingly. He's probably our backup striker at the moment anyway. Uh, amazingly enough, only finding Guerin from the academy. But you'd assume there'll be some regents floating around for season number two. Let me know your thoughts for Miranda. All right, Tom Martin is only a 59. He's from Belgium, left mid, right winger. Uh, what's he got in his locker? Three-star, three-star, low and high defensive work rate. Um, so you could probably bring him on as a sub. Uh, we'll see how he goes with that low work rate, unfortunately. Um, finishing and passing. Already increasing. Um, O'Grady can go. Miller can go. Benteke can go. 
All right, Guerra, 61 up, 13, showing great potential. 46 appearances, 16 goals and 5 assists. But, I mean, you're going to get that from your only recognized striker. Three-star, three-star, 5 foot 8. It's so weird for me to be using a really short striker. Um, but, yeah, a lot of training. That sprint speed at 84 should be helping out a little bit more. We might need to work on his ball control. Uh, two years on his contract. Ethan Moore, the Australian, 52 up, 5. Um... You know, coming off the bench, might need a loan spell. He's got the high-low work rates that I do like for a winger. Uh, and, of course, he is Australian. He's probably the only one in the squad. So um, let me know your thoughts on Ethan Moore. And, of course, Laurent Bernard showing great potential. 64 up 6. 49 appearances, 9 goals, 6 assists. Medium-medium work rates. He's got the speed now coming through. And uh, should be right at home. Uh, next season here and that is our full squad so do get into the comment section have a chat amongst all the other subscribers with your thoughts on who should be loaned out who should be sold uh, is there any deadwood here from our youth academy or regions that you think should just be uh, gotten rid of obviously we'll try and make some money out of these lads so we can try and upgrade some of our scouting networks and obviously sign some regions but that is the squad I need you guys to get in the comments and uh, help me sort things out here with the squad Right, I wasn't going to do a player upgrade. When you bring in a player like the German in Klein, uh, I think you need to give him an instant upgrade. So if you want to make any changes to his number or his kit, uh, he will be the starting centre-back partnering up with White uh, for season number two, unless we go out and sign some uh, ridiculous centre-back. But to be fair, if we've got any cash, we probably need a backup striker and maybe a midfielder and a backup goalkeeper. That'll probably be the first three positions I'm thinking about. So um, you can... Uh, pretty much assume that Klein will be rolling in there. Um, you know, he's got some potential, he's got some height. Uh, I love a big German at the back. So uh, let me know your thoughts, number and kit. The one with the most thumbs up on their comment. Of course, we'll get the upgrade in a future episode. All right, we need to check in on what's happening in England. Arsenal have uh, taken the Premier League title over Chelsea on uh, a goal difference here by the looks of things. Manchester United in third. Who is getting relegated down? It is Fulham, Huddersfield and Cardiff. The championship's been taken by Sheffield Wednesday. Absolutely smashing at 93 points. Nottingham Forest and Stoke City. Uh, relegation sides are, of course, Birmingham City, Rotherham United and Bolton. Well, Sunderland have dominated League One. They'll be going up with Burton and uh, looks like Barnsley, unless there's a playoff there. I cannot remember for the life of me for the third position. And the relegation battle is, uh, well, Gillingham, Wimbledon, and you assume Walsall. Does Blackpool go down as well, the bottom four sides? Um, so some interesting sides up here uh, in League One. And uh, that is where we will be playing next season. But where did we finish our first season in charge after an appalling start, ultimate difficulty? The team has rallied. Dylan Allen has got his tactics in play. And right now, we'll find out where we finished. Well, Morecambe have finished at the bottom of the table. Crew Alexander and Stevenage having uh, pretty average seasons. But, I mean, if you're picking up 40-odd points, I mean, they've still got wins. A lot of draws there for Morecambe. Uh, and as we move up the table, uh, Tramby there in 18th position. Cheltenham in 15th. It's always good to look where your former sides. Forest Green had a decent season, and they finished in 9th position. So, good things to come for that club. Crawley Town are in the, the playoffs. Uh, with MK Donsbury and Yeovil Town. Now the top three, where have we finished? We've actually scraped through and finished in third position with equal points to Mansfield Town and Lincoln City. It was the goal difference that did us in the end, uh, but we get automatic promotion through to League One. That is an outstanding season for Oldham Athletic, and um, that is where we will finish today's episode uh, we will have the Majestico live count Monday night on Twitch. If you are interested in that, make sure you check that one out. If not, I will have an edited version up on Tuesday. Uh, I think Thursday we'll start season number two. Uh, pretty much having a quick look through regens and uh, deciding what we're going to do with the squad together. Uh, maybe a game if we're lucky in that one. And then uh, Saturday we will really kick in to season number two up in League One. But hopefully you've enjoyed this first season. It's been outstanding uh, from you guys. I think we've got nearly 5,000 views on just about every episode. The likes have been incredible and I cannot appreciate the support so far that we've had on this series. Let's hope that rolls on for season number two. Uh, I think League One will be a new beast, a new challenge. We don't have the squad depth at this stage. I'm not sure we're going to get that much cash either. Um, so 
I think it's going to be a tougher season than here. Uh, obviously, our first team, star rating-wise, is probably up and about with most of these teams in League 2 now. Uh, we did get our ass handed to us a few times, and you can assume that the step up to League 1, some of those teams are really going to uh, really bring the house down. So we're going to have to be ready. Hopefully you are too. That's where we'll leave it. I've said enough shit today, and we'll see you next time. I'm Spine DK. It's 5 o'clock somewhere, and you have a good one. This video is powered by Neurotech and their product, Clarity. Now you can jump over to their website now, use the discount code DK10 for 10% off your next purchase. And uh, I highly recommend this product, I use it every single day. It increases your energy, your focus, while reducing fatigue and stress. If you wanna know how I get out all these videos and keep that work going, this is the product for you. So go and check it out. All the information that you need is on at that website. And if you feel like making a purchase, chuck in at that discount code for 10% off. Now, if you are looking for more fresh content to check out, you can click one of these two videos. If you feel like subscribing, well, there's a button right there. Make sure you put on that notifications bell, and we'll see you next time.